The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of British Columbia. Keeping ourselves and our families safe and healthy is the top priority amidst the COVID-19 outbreak. It is particularly important when it comes to seniors in our communities. According to Roger Wong, it is partly due to the fact that our immune systems slow down as we age. Many seniors also live with long-standing health conditions that may increase their risk of getting very ill from COVID-19. Wong is a professor of geriatric medicine at University of British Columbia. So what can seniors do to protect themselves from picking up any infection, including COVID-19? Wong recommends that like all of us, seniors should be regularly washing their hands, practicing good personal hygiene, and making sure that they stay at home as much as possible to keep their physical distance from other people. To practice physical distancing, seniors should consider picking up their groceries once a week at off-peak hours or order them online. Some grocery stores and pharmacies are offering seniors-only hours. Wong suggests that seniors should call their pharmacy first before going in to pick up medications. The Canadian Pharmacists Association also recommends individuals only get the medications they need. And if possible, Seniors should look to have a healthy family member pick up their medication and drop it off at their door, or order their medication from a pharmacy that offers delivery. For seniors with a medical appointment, they should check with their healthcare provider to determine if their appointment can be rescheduled or done virtually via technology. Seniors also play an important role supporting families, for example with babysitting. But amidst the outbreak, limit these activities. Children may not have symptoms, but could still spread the disease. And what can others do to protect and support seniors? Remember, even people who may not have the symptoms can spread the infection, inadvertently impacting seniors. It is best to visit seniors virtually rather than in person during the outbreak. If the visit is essential, Make sure that you're washing your hands, and if you feel even slightly unwell, do not visit your aging loved ones at this time. Think about how you can best support seniors in your life, by running errands or bringing them necessities, for example. For seniors living with Alzheimer's disease and dementia, for example, they may not fully appreciate the impact or extent of COVID-19. Keep the message simple. Family members can tell them there's an infection in our community and we want to protect you. Explain that family members will contact them using technology and reassure them that they are safe and loved. Physical distancing does not mean social isolation. Wong stresses that it is so important to keep seniors engaged. A lot of times a phone call is what is needed. Social isolation and loneliness can have negative impacts on seniors' health. We need to make sure that we keep seniors mentally engaged while physically keeping them protected from the infection. This story was adapted from the UBC Faculty of Medicine news article How to Support Seniors During the COVID-19 Outbreak.